I'm Gary and this is a coloured drummer. Welcome along guys to another episode of Dining Room Drums. Tonight I've decided to grab a wee Glen Scotia 15 year old, hopefully you can see that. We'll get this one in glass and we'll have a wee chat. Um, it's a wee, sorry, what is it? 25ml sample that has come through from the ambassador at uh, Glen Scotia, Gary Mills. He sent me up several samples uh, from them. So maybe over the next few weeks, I'll have a little sip at some of them. Okay, Glen Scotia. I think we did one Glen Scotia in the past, uh, Campbelltown Harbour, which is kind of like their um, entry level drum. Glen Scotia over on the west coast of Scotland. If you look in the map, it's kind of like a little bit that sticks out. Um, in the past, Glen Scotia um, had, or not sorry, Glen Scotia, Campbelltown had a large amount of distilleries. Um, now, today, I think it's only three distilleries that are left running in Campbelltown, Glen Scotia being one of them. Um, now, Glen Campbelltown whiskies can get a bit of a cult following. People often talk about uh, what they call the Campbelltown funk. Um, there's like a, sometimes people will say they get an almost uh, a musty sort of funkiness. Um, how do you describe funk? <laughs> I don't think you really can, can you? There's just something different about it. And once you've had a uh, Campbelltown whiskey, you, you can tell um, that they're from that region. It's a little bit hard to put that over in here. I think really you're just going to have to go find yourself some Campbelltown whiskies and, and give it a wee try. But what I'll do is we'll have a little chat about this one here, the 15 year old. Um, American uh, oak um, maturation. Nothing um, extra in it there. I, it's not sort of sherry casked or anything like that. Just standard American oak um, casks used for the maturation. They say they're specially selected. What is specially selected? No idea. Let's give it a little sniff, see what comes out of it. Straight away I'm getting a sort of citrusy, um, perhaps oranges. Um, there's nothing burny or strong, etc. It's a 46% ABV. That doesn't come over in the nose, that's slightly higher than normal 40%. You know, you've got that extra 6% there. And there's nothing harsh about that. There's perhaps a bit of ginger in there. Ginger biscuits, ginger nut biscuits. Perhaps some fruit, mm, sort of dark fruit, plums or something like that, maybe. Absolutely nothing unpleasant in there. Quite a pleasant nose. Sip. There it is, I've got, you know, I've had Campbelltown whiskies before and I kind of know what I'm expecting from it. And to me there is, there's something different there. I can't put it across in words. It's just that difference of funkiness is what they always say. But for me, there's a difference between the nose coming down onto the palate there. That citrusy um, fruitiness and the ginger that was coming over on the nose. It's not necessarily there on the palate. It's quite a dry palate. Quite a warm palate. I'd say perhaps there's more of fruit salad fruitness about it rather than the dark fruits plums that I suggested on the nose. That sort of syrupness that you'll have in a fruit salad. You know, a tinned fruit salad some posh sort of handmade fruit salad 
and it's got to be comes from a car put there by a man yeah the dryness comes through there's almost a wood to it the oak very dry eh? for me it's got a short finish mm. It's enjoyable, um, but I want more. Does that make sense? I'm not sure. I've heard people describe it as being a complex palette, and I don't find it complex. I find it interesting, and I find it enjoyable. But I wouldn't go as far as complex. Um, for me, the main part of this coming through to me is that it's dry, almost like a dry white wine. Yeah, I could sit, I could drink that, I could enjoy it. But there's perhaps other ones I would probably enjoy slightly more. I think it's in the region of about £60, £65. Um, I'd be quite happy to pay that and to drink it. Um, but, you know, I just think there's other ones I enjoy more. But, going to Scotia 15, not a bad drawing, guys. Sláinte.